Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Some of you, when they downloaded the chasse, uh, they find it this way. So it's wrong. The solution for this problem is to change the modeling orientation. In this video, I will show you how to do that. So let's get started. So you can see here X, Z, and here Y. Okay. So if you don't have the Y axis here, you will find difficulties. So it's better to change it manually. So how to do so? Just click on your name here and then go to preferences. Click there and then you will find this menu here. You go to default modeling orientation. If you have the Z up, you just change it to Y up here. And then click on OK. You need also to restart your region, close it and open it again so you can see the result. Make sure that Y is up. Some of you are still facing difficulties in the 2D sketching. So this video is meant for you. So let's get started. To start with, those are the three important keys that you have to know when dealing with Fusion 360. So this is the escape key. When I say escape, so I mean this key here, the tab key, this one, and finally the enter key. So let's have this one as example for us to understand the basics in the sketching. Okay, so first of all in sketching, you need to know uh, one thing here that you have the dimension. So actually, what is those arrows here, this one, this one, this one, and this one, they are actually not part of the sketch. They are only the dimension. So here, the basic sketch is line of 25 millimeter and another line here with 140 milli and, and an arc of 170 radius here. So let's go to Vuegen. So when you go and create a new file here, you will have this view, okay? You need to know that you have the browsers here. So you have this origin when you click here, see this is the origin, it's zero, X, Y, and Z. And Z. This one here is the X axis, since this is, is the X axis, see? This is the Y axis. And this is the Z axis. If I click on control and I click all of them, so you can see all of the uh, X, Z, and Y. So you can see here X, Z, and here Y. Okay? So if you don't have the Y axis here, you will find difficulties. So it's better to change it manually. So how to do so? Just click on your name here and then go to preferences. Click there and then you will find this menu here. You go to default modeling orientation. If you have the Z up, you just change it to Y up here. And then click on OK. You need also to restart your region, close it and open it again so you can see the result. Make sure that Y is up. The planes here, the X, Y, so here X and Y, here you have Z and X, so Z and X, and here Z and Y. So if I click on all of the planes here, I can see, so I'm clicking, I'm pressing control and pressing all of this, I can see all of them. Also you need to understand here that you have the cube. So this is the home view. You look at the object isometric view and then you can look from the top. You can look from the corner here. So, so this is all the view. So you can see here if I'm pressing the corner, so you can see any object in all of the dimension here. Okay. So now to start any sketch, so you can click on create sketch here, the plus sign, or you can click on the sketch here if you have the old version. Okay, so let's go and create 
a sketch and then I have to choose a plane so this is very important you have to choose a plane so in this case let's choose this one okay now we will start with creating a line so you can click on line from the keyboard or line here so now let's draw this sketch here you have two way to do so in the previous video i explained how to do line by line and write the dimension in every line in this case i will show it to you in different ways so let's just draw the line without putting into consideration the dimension and then just change the dimensions so as you can see here there is a plus sign you can see this is the plus sign right when i give it one click this click mean i will start from here okay so if i give if i give it a one click that's mean i started from here and then you can see that this is appear to you so here you can see there is two inputs so the plus here is showing where you want to end the sketch so what you have to care about is the plus from this plus to the end this plus so this plus if i want to stop here i will click here so see this is one look at the plus sign here if i want to stop here i will click here if i want to stop here i will click here what you have to care here is where do you want to stop and every time there will be a, an angle for the the line and a dimension for the line okay so here you go so you want to stop here let me stop here and then let me stop here so what you have to care about is this plus sign this plus sign is where you want the this line so see this line to end so let's go to create line and then draw our line so let's start from here and then give it one click here and then one click again and then one click again and then one click if i want to finish i will click on escape or enter okay so now i have this line this line here and then i will create an arc so this arc you uh, have to make it you, can you see this blue line here make it within the blue the blue line see this blue line make it within this blue line and then click on enter now i have this shape is is similar to this shape but i need to give it a dimension here how to do so so i have here the dimension 25 140 and then 170 i will go there i will click on sketch dimension here or i will find sketch dimension here from here sketch dimension or i can click d from the keyboard so if i want to give a dimension to this so i will just click on the line here that i want to give a dimension so see when i click on the line here this shows here so now this is 40 now i want to change it to 25 then i will click on enter you see now i want to change this one i will just give it one click here when I give it one click, I can go right or left. Okay. And then I will give it another click to give the input. So now here 100. So you can see this is go, this goes up. So I want to make it down. I will just click on this one and I will make it down. Also this one, you can use it to zoom in or zoom out. Just click zoom. And then when you finish just click on escape key okay now i need to change also this one i will give it one click and i, I will go up here is the dimension here is four zero and then give it a click finally i will give the arc here a click and then i will go like this and then i will change to one seven zero so that's it so now here what you need to know is the black the black one here with the number those arrows are not part of the sketch we can just click here and sketch plate see if i just click here all of them will be just disappear 
because they are not part of the sketch. The sketch is only those lines here. If you have the old version, you will have them in blue color. Okay, so though this is our sketch here and, and the black lines here are only the dimension. And by the way, you can click on them and go up and down and finally click on finish sketch. So just to recap, this is escape. When you want to finish the sketch, just click on escape or enter. Uh, and then tap to move from one input to another. The escape here is also used to, if you want to use the pan or the zoom in and zoom out, and then you go back to the sketch, you just use this one, escape, and then enter. Okay, good luck.